Let's take unit control in War Legends from simple to complex. Let's take one unit. If we tap anywhere, the unit will go there with a move command. This means that it won't hit anyone and will just move to a given point. If we want the unit to attack enemies it it counters, we must use a double tap instead of the single tap. This is called an assault move or simply a move. This is the best way to send the troops in most cases. Then, even if you are not following them, they will engage themselves if they run into an enemy. Note that a unit stays selected as long as you command it. To deselect a unit, then click on the red cross in the lower right corner. Or you can simply select another unit or building. If you have several of the same units on the screen, double tap on any of them will select them all at once. This way you can quickly select all knights, all archers and so on. If you double tap not on a unit but on an empty space, all units you see on the screen will be selected. Note that there are icons at the bottom of the screen. They show exactly whom you have chosen. You can click on those icons to select units of the same type. It is important to know that workers do not fall into this kind of selection. You can safely select units at your base with a double tap and send them to attack and the workers will continue to mine resources. However, if you want, you can double tap on one of them or frame them. Another method of selecting units is with a frame. You frame units inside a rectangle just as you would with a mouse on a computer. To select units by a frame, hold down a long tap and then drag your finger diagonally. A slightly faster way is to long tap and then not drag your finger but immediately point the opposite corner of the frame with your other hand. You can also start the frame with the double tap instead of the long tap. This method is very fast, but you can accidentally select a building. And you'll need to practice to keep the intervals between each tap. The method of creating a frame with two hands works for a double tap too. In the end, you can not bother with the selection of units and select all at once. This is done by a special button at the bottom right. This may come in handy when you need to gather everyone and go on the attack. However, sometimes it happens that you still need to keep some of them back. For example, you want a single unit to capture a chest or mana well and not be turned down by a general order. To do this, you can use the halt position or patrol commands. The difference is that halt position means standing still while a unit on patrol will pursue the enemy. But both commands exclude the unit from the select all button. So, if you want to capture a well, then send a unit there with a patrol command, and then you may tap select all button and send the others to attack. And the last feature for the most complex army formations are the control groups. These are located in the upper right corner. If you select a unit and tap on the empty control group, it will be put in that group. You can now tap on the group icon at any time to select the units you've added to it. To add someone to a group, click on the plus sign. And if you want to replace units in the group, then select the new units and long tap on the icon. And if you want to remove a unit from a control group, you can do it in two ways. The first is to select it and add it to another group, then it will be removed from its previous group. The other way is just to move the unit aside and then select units that should remain in the group and long tap on the group to recreate it. 
so the unnecessary unit will no longer be there. Control groups are useful when you have a lot of units that require different control. For example, you've got siege weapons that fire from afar, but you need to protect them with a melee squad and also manage to avoid it from getting under enemy turrets. This isn't a beginner trick, of course, but I wanted to show it to you anyway, so that you know all the control options our game has to offer. And that's all I have on the controls. If you still have questions, feel free to ask in the comments, and we'll see you in the next videos.